Hello and happy Wednesday and I have got some major news to tell you. So last night's Half Size Me community meeting was epic. We discussed something that I think I don't know if anyone's ever <laughs> discussed before, which is how to assess your weight loss data. So I tracked my weigh-ins for a whole month in the community. I took a picture of my scale weight for a whole month so they could see the variations day to day. And I got a lot of response back from that. A lot of people very emotional one way, emotional another way, um, confused how I don't lose my mind with all this. And it occurred to me, I always say things like assess the data, pay attention to your averages, but I don't think people were really understanding what I was saying. So what I did last night is I really presented the information in a emotionless way, very scientific way, where I showed them that if I had gone based on my first week versus my last week, we did this for, I did this for four weeks, the first week versus the last week, if I had only weighed in on Wednesday for the whole month, if that was my weigh-in day, I'm thinking of my like Weight Watchers people, if Wednesday was my weigh-in day, it looked like I gained 0.2 pounds for the month. But if I had gone to Thursday and that had been my weigh-in day, I would have lost quote unquote 3.6 pounds for the month. So which number is correct? Was Wednesday's number correct? Was Thursday's number correct? Neither. Neither of those is correct. Because with your weight, there's so much variation that not any one given day is going to give you a true reflection. So what I do is I I average all my weigh-ins together and I compare several points. I, I usually compare the average and then I look for the median of the data and I also look at the range. And what that tells me is, am I trending down and how much did I lose over the course of the month? The truth is I actually lost 2.03 pounds over the month when I did it my way. But if I had looked at just a particular day of the week, I would have been misled and not understood what was really going on. And I probably would have got frustrated when to quit, right? Gain point two after being on a deficit over the holidays, I would have been pissed. <laughs> so the reality is this, one weigh-in, one daily, one weekly daily weigh-in isn't always going to be the best for some people. Um, now this month I'm doing the exact same challenge again. I'm weighing myself every day taking a picture, but the only difference is I'm actually going to show them how to assess the data. I'm also making this available. I have several calculators I made available to the community, and I want to welcome you to do this with us. If you are not part of the community, I would encourage you to join. You can join for a month for a dollar. Join us and, and kind of learn how to do this because most of you are going to have a lot of weight fluctuation, and you guys may be looking at this in a different way. I even told them, I'm like, if you are somebody who's been weighing it every, once a certain day every single day of the week and you're not seeing the progress, before you throw in the towel, try my approach. Because if, you, if you're if really wanting to see that I am moving in the right direction, that one time a week weigh-in might not be enough. So a lot of you do weigh in every single day. Why don't we put that data to good use? So uh, the meeting from last night is recorded. It's available to the community members. They also have access to the visual aids I used. And I'm going to be doing it along with them. So if you want to join us, go to halfsizeme.com forward slash join and kind of break this relationship with the scale to where you feel like if I gained a pound over over 24 hours, I'm a failure. You're absolutely not. You have a variance of up three pounds, down three pounds from whatever your actual weight is. So you're never going to be the same weight on a daily basis. Okay. All right. You guys have a great week. Hopefully that helps a little bit if you've been feeling frustrated with the scale and I'll talk to you soon.